Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science, and today I'm going to show you how to make a really cool three-phase oil. Let me show you how it's made. So this is the product we're going to be making here, and as you can see, we have three distinct phases. Now you could use different colors. Uh, I've gone with a real natural blue type of concept here for my water phase. And then I have my polar oil phase, and then I have my non-polar oil phase on the very top. Now it's really cool because when you actually shake this product together, it comes together as one product, temporarily, for a short time only. And during this time you could be dispensing using an eyedropper or a serum dispenser. And on application to the skin, the product comes together nicely and feels very much like an emulsion. But of course, over time, it will then settle out and you can already see it's starting to separate back out until it separates completely into its three layers again. Now, to create this product, we do need to use a few different products. Contact us with a full formula because it is really important that you also put this product together the right way. So first of all, I have my water phase. Now to this, I'm going to add a quoxel. Now this is an active that's high in hydration, but you could use other water soluble extracts or actives here. I've chosen this one because it's got a fantastic moisturizing story. Now I'm also going to add my preservative. It is very important that you're using a very water soluble preservative here. You don't want any part of it to be going into the oil phases because we do need it to protect that water phase. And I'm also adding a very small amount of a color. And that is so that we can see this water phase. Now I'm just gonna check and adjust the pH. I do need to make sure that the pH of this water phase suits the preservative before I go any further. Now that the pH has been adjusted, we can prepare our polar oil phase. Now, if you haven't worked much with cosmetic chemistry in the past, you might be saying, hang on, I thought all oils were non-polar. Well, that's actually not correct. So what I've got here is I have got some castor oil and you'll find in general, your plant oils are polar. To this, I'm going to add some pumpkin seed oil. Now I'm using pumpkin seed because it has such a bright and distinct color. If you don't want your product to turn out as dark, you certainly don't need to use as dark an oil. And I'm also going to add some antioxidant. Now I could also add some essential oils into this phase because they're all polar, so they will all come together really nicely. And once that's combined, I'm just going to add that to my water phase. And you can see they totally separate. There's two really distinct layers. There's no emulsifier here to hold them together. So I have just got my water phase and then I have my oil sitting on top. Even if I was to stir that up to combine them, you will see that two very distinct different layers form. Now that I have my two separate oil and water phases, I'm now going to add my non-polar lipid. Now this is really important because the polarity of these oils will make them sit apart from each other in the final product. If I was to use another ester or plant oil, it would just combine with the other oil already present. So by using the non-polar oil, it sits distinctly apart from my polar oil. And there you can see my three distinct layers. Again, if I stir them up, they will still separate from each other to form three distinct layers. And of course, here is the final product packed off. And if you had it in a serum dispenser or with a glass dropper, the consumer can shake it up just before applying, take out or dispense the product they wanna use, the product comes together briefly, but starts to separate into its three distinct layers quite quickly for a fantastic visual effect. There's nothing quite like visual appeal to really grab your consumer's attention. 
and then of course they'll try a little bit of the product and it's the sensory that takes over. One of the great things about this formula is by using the different types of polar and non-polar oils and the water phase, we could introduce all sorts of actives in there. They can be water soluble, they could be soluble in non-polar lipids and they could also be soluble in polar lipids. There is so much variety and choice that you could create using a triphase formula. And of course, it's really easy to see and tell the story about a triphase formula or triphase actives because the consumer can really clearly see the different phases of the formula. They can see it come together. They can see the product get dispensed and use it. And like I say, when dispensed, it actually has a real emulsion feeling to it. And of course, then the actives will take over and do the job. I hope you enjoyed this video and me showing you this really innovative and funky product form. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating.